Hello guys, magandang araw sa inyo lahat. Ang pag-uusapan natin guys ngayon is about sa antivirus software. So it is created by um Perlin Neo. Okay, so what is antivirus guys? Okay, so sabi diyan ang antivirus is uh, what are antivirus software programs? So yung mga uh, example or mga icon ng different uh, antivirus. Okay, so sabi dyan, what are antivirus software programs? Sabi dyan, a computer program used to scan and remove computer viruses or malicious files. Example, the Trojan horses, adware, and etc. So, ayan. So, yung definition, guys. So, they are an essential part of multi-layered computer security strategy. And then, how does it scan your computer? Okay, sabi dyan, number one, on access scanning and then the, the antivirus software typically runs in the background and scans every file open so ganyan mag scan ang, ang mga antivirus in your computer and then also known as background scanning real time protection and then when a or when a that exe file kasi virus po siya siya is double click to be opened the software checks it for viruses first before making the data visible to users so ganyan po yung on access scanning so sample is screenshot so ito is isang application ng antivirus ito yung microsoft security essentials so ganyan siya ang screenshot na um, antivirus na uh, screenshot so kailangan siya um, i-turn on click itong turn on na yan para mag-update kasi nasa real time protection siya kasi nagka-turn off siya so we need to turn turn on the turn on it and you must scan full scan okay okay so yan ang example ng uh, antivirus na screenshot microsoft security essentials and then number 2 full system scans have you due to the presence of own access and scanning scan on access scanning, so mentioned previously ko, na pinag-discuss uh, ko, dapat kailan full. So, full system scans are not always implemented by a user. So, it is suggested or required na mas maganda yung full system scan kasi buong files ng computer po ninyo, mapa application siya or different um, resources of your computer will be scanned by your antiviruses or antivirus. Okay, so, useful for when you are or when you've done, just download the antivirus software to check for dormant viruses hidden in your computer. And then, but usually, the antivirus software is always running in the background to scan every file open or downloaded. So, um, every um, kamad nyo kasi, for example, nag, nakapag-download ka ng isang um, files or any resources, in-scan siya ng antivirus po, po ninyo. So, yun ang um, trabaho ng antivirus para uh, maiwasan na makapasok na may, may virus or may virus na ang inyong computers. Okay, so sample screenshot. So, ito yun, division protected na siya. Protected and ang ang scan type niya is full scan. So, ito yung, is, so, ito yung um, screenshot ng full um, scanning. Okay, so kasi scan type niya is full scan. Okay, so next. Sabi dyan, what are the types of software available? So, meron dyan mga signature detection, detection siya, behavior monitoring, and then, so number one, the signature-based de detection. So, examines files for virus and compares then, them to a virus dictionary, and then, signatures, an algorithm or byte strings that uniquely identifies a specific viruses with minimal false alarms. Okay, so false alarm lang, lang siya. And then, Closer look at how signatures are extracted. So, number one, an algorithm examines each code sequence in a virus. And then, estimate the probability of the code being found in any other file. And then, code sequence with lowest false possibility chosen as signature. Okay, so, yun yung mas signature ng antivirus. And then, ito naman, Land of computer viruses are usually a few hundred to few thousand bytes. And then, 
Hence, the amount of memory required to store thousands of virus patterns would be several megabytes. So, not, practic not practical po ito. Okay? And dangerous for the antivirus software to have large library of virus signatures might be exploited by a virus authors. So, hence, so instead of having a total much antivirus software, usually use a small part of the virus code for identification. And then, these short signatures are easier to work with and are still able to ad identify most viruses without revealing any useful information to virus authors. But, sabi dyan, viruses are increasingly becoming more complex. For example, the metamorphic viruses and a behavior-based scan is required will be covered later on. And then, some may, uh, some may say that signatures were only used in the antivirus software of 1980s and 1990s. But this is not the case. Because signatures are still widely used in many antivirus software virus detection algorithms today. Okay, so sample uh, detection ng antivirus. So, yun yung mga code. So, ayan. And then, the suspect code and dun yung signatures ng virus. Okay. So, ito yung ano niya, photo source. Source ng, um, ng gumawa. Itong um, slide. And then, a single uh, signature may be found in a number of viruses. Hence, scanner is able to detect some new viruses it has never even encountered before. So, referred to as generic detection. B, Generic de detection, so less likely to be uh, effective against completely new viruses which are outside of particular known virus families. And then, number two, antivirus software examines a file when the computer system creates, open, close, emails it. So, with, with regards sa pag-open ng email, so, meron din dyan uh, mga restriction na dapat wag ka basta-basta mag-open ng mga email kasi those emails... Possibly, kung halimbawa, hindi siya familiar sa inyo, so pwede siyang virus siya. Pwede nga ang account po ninyo. So, depende po sa pagkakakreate ng virus or ng, uh, ng author kung ano yung purpose niya with regards sa email na yun. So, maging ano lang kayo aware kung paano pag mag-open ng mga um, unwanted files. So, kasama yan. Emails. O, oh, yan. So, virus scanner can also be scheduled to scan the computer at a regular schedule of four viruses. So, may run kasi ang settings sa inyong um, schedule when you are conducting the antivirus scan to your computer. And then, if a scanner detects a piece of code in any file that is identified in the dictionary, user is prompted to the either ignore, repair, quarantine, or delete the file. So, after uh, detect the test with regards po dito na after you scan the computer, full scan of your computer, so you must delete. You know? Delete na lang yung file, yung mga virus na na-scan. So, yun kasi ano. So, by quarantine or deleting the infected file, the virus is stopped when infected other files. So, yun ang suggest ko nga. Quarantine or deleting. Pero sa just kahit delete na lang. No? And then number three. So, in order to be effective in the long run, Periodic online downloads of updated virus dictionary entities are required. Users can alert these antivirus software authors about new viruses to ensure that the signatures in the dictionary are updated. And then, what are its weaknesses ng mga virus? So, sabi dyan, virus authors have tried to skirt this method by creating polymorphic viruses. Ayan. Pag sinabing polymorphic, polymorphic viruses, these viruses encrypt some parts of themselves to avoid getting much to virus dictionary entries. So, yun yung mga code ng creating the uh, um, diction virus dictionary. So, reoccurring need to update virus dictionary. And then, antivirus software author releases signature updates which improves the detection ability of the virus scanner. So, mayroon sa akin question dati na, bakit may virus? No. So, ang virus kasi, guys, is kasama yan sa um, market demand. 
So, ang creator niyan is tao din. So, para magkaroon sila ng income, so, gumagawa sila ng virus para, kasi, once nag-create ka ng isang virus, so, meron naman siyang gagawing na anti-virus. So, yun, yun po ang mga technique ngayon ng mga um, developer, yung mga virus creator, na sila yung gagawa ng virus and sila din ang gagawa ng anti-virus. So, market, ano nang yan? Um, uh, market um, strategy. No? Kasi, pera-pera lang, pera, pera lang din po yan. Okay. So, may prove to be troublesome in the long runs as user needs to constantly update their software, which still doesn't guarantee that an entirely new virus will be detected. Okay. So, how is the software able to scan a file within such a short amount of time when there, is, when there are so many signatures on the list? So, optimization criteria. So, sabi dyan, some software example, the Norton antivirus, antivirus and uses signatures that begin only with a subset of all the possible bytes. So, this allows for fast scanning as the software knows all the possible um, prefixes. So, yun yung Norton na antivirus. Norton antivirus. So, with regards sa pagbili ng antivirus, so, um, yung mga license kasi antivirus, medyo mahal talaga yan. Yung mga na-download na- naman, yung mga na-download na- online, mayroon lang, as- ano sila, free trial or trial version lang. And then, when you are conducting the scanning of the computer, mapa desktop mount or laptop, um, it is required an, an internet connection on, or internet connectivity to scan your um, ano po, um, computer. So, mas maganda kasi na ina-update din kasi ang antivirus, pati yung mga uh, Windows update kasama po yan. Okay, so kailangan din. So, after other optimization methods, ito na, wild guards, So, ang ina-update po rin guys yung sinasasabi ko sa pag-update ko antivirus. No? So, uh, scanners, wild cards, scanners ignore some characters in the virus signature, generic degree, number of search strings is reduced by identifying a signature common to a family of viruses. And then, mismatches. So, ito yung first introduced in IBM antivirus. So, ito yung allows for certain um, number of bytes in the string to be any volume regardless of their position. And then, top and tail scanning. So, most viruses have their code either at the end or head of the file. Scanners only examine these two parts to reduce time. And then, skeleton detection reduces search zone of target file by not scanning file instructions that are unlikely to be part of the virus code. And then, the behavior monitoring of your antivirus. Instead of trying to identify known virus, it monitors the behavior of all programs. And then, example, if a program tries to write data to an executable program, the user is notified of this suspicious behavior and asks what to do. So, minsan kasi, uh, pag alimbawa nag-open ka ng um, any application or program, So, meron dyan mag-notify sa'yo kung ano yung, um, minsan nga, ano, pag nag-o-on pa lang, mag-o-on ang computer po ninyo, mag-o-on. So, meron na siya mga unnecessary na na-o-open yung, yung computer po ninyo. So, ganun talaga pagdating sa behavior monitoring. So, doon naman sa application program, pag-open niya. So, minsan nag-error because of na-corrupt na yung files. Okay. So, ayan, compared to the signature detection, sabi dyan, ah, uh, method, it provides better protection against brand new viruses. And then, large number of alerts may synthesize users to all the warnings and applying accept to all the file prompts. And then, method 1, the file emulation, ito is uh, using a sandbox. The sandbox imitates the operating system and runs the executable in this simulation. And then, the sandbox is then uh, analyzed for changes which might indicate a virus, and then, this method is usually on run upon an on-demand scan as if may affect performance. And then, the method 2 for the monitoring through file analysis, the antivirus software analyzes the 
instructions of a particular program to determine whether or not it is malicious. Example, it if, if it is required the system to be delete important file, it is then flagged as possible virus, but may have many false alarm. Meron nga ano, files na or folder na dinidelete mo minsan hindi na didelete. No, so kasi na ano siya naapektuhan ng virus. So normally ang may mga files talaga na hindi na didelete, ang uh, ginagawa pina-format na lang. Halimbawa sa flash drive. So meron diyan mga files na hindi na didelete talaga kasi uh, it, is, it is infected by the virus. So ang ginagawa ng iba is pina-format na lang yung flash drive para full clean siya. Okay? So characteristic of antivirus software. So una diyan So, because that affects each efficiency and effectiveness of the uh, computer. So, space minimization, minimization. So, the memory required on the hard disk required to run the software. Each antivirus application used to scan files and build a database of virus signature. And then, the speed maximization. So, the yung, no, and yung pangatlo, the low profile user must be minimally restrained in his or in this usage. Okay, so other concerns about the antivirus software. So, ito yung performance. So, minsan kasi because of the antivirus, pati yung performance ng computer is pwedeng maapektuhan. Kasi kung halimbawa, malag na yung computer, kailan may scan talaga ng antivirus. So, once na malag kasi ang inyong computer, yung monitoring ng computer po ninyo, is kailangan din mag-conduct ng scanning of the computer. So, dyan, dyan na mawasok yung performance kapag merong antivirus ang inyong computer. So, sa mga antivirus software may reduce performance in some ways due to the need to scan every file open or download. So, minsan kasi nakaka-apekta din yung um, performance ng antivirus to your computer pag nagrara ng inyong computer kasi lahat ng mga files ma, na, or na dinadownload po ninyo is in-scan ng antivirus and then after na, um, na in-scan niya yung um, different files na pumapasok sa inyong computer, siyempre, application siya or um, na nag scan sa mga files po ninyo. So, pati yung performance is naapektuhan. Pero okay lang yun. Kasi yun naman talaga ang trabaho ng isang antivirus. And then, however, the software should be enabled full-time for maximum protection. So, yun kasi ang kahilan guys. Dapat na full-time yung um, antivirus po ninyo. So, security. So, antivirus programs may also pose some security risks as they are usually given system privileges. And then, hence, any exploitation of the program itself can pose as a serious threat. And then, some antivirus programs may actually be spyware in disguise. Important to check authenticity before installing. So, dapat kasi pag once na mag- install kasi kayo na um, any application of the antivirus, you must uh, know or kilala yung antivirus. Okay? So, cloud antivirus software. So, ngayon, also ngayon ito, yung cloud antivirus software. Okay, so the software runs on user desktop and connects to the central monitoring server in the cloud. So, virus signature are automatically updated as long as users are connected to the internet. So, requires little memory space as most of the heavy processing happens in the cloud. And then, users keep track of file infections via the central server which is accessed on web browsers. And then, does, does this mean that the computer is not protected without internet connection? No. So, Ang computer po eh, kasi niyo, necessary din kasi na ina-update niya yung um, system po niya kasama ang kasama po ang uh, antivirus. So, the answer is no. So, the cloud antivirus saves information in signatures and local cache or cache to keep the system secure. Through the computer is offline. So here are two examples of cloud antivirus software that uses both signature direction or detection, I mean, and behavior 
monetary methods. So abas antivirus. So ito yung uh, ano niya, uh, video niya with, the, with regards to abas. So panoorin natin guys. This is a typical virus analyst, finding and analyzing new computer viruses. And you need hundreds of them in a normal virus lab. At Avast, we do it differently. Imagine this lamp is you, an Avast user, surrounded by the darkness of cyberspace. When your Avast sees something suspicious, it catches it, gotcha, and sends the little intruder automatically and anonymously to our virus lab to be analyzed. Every day, we receive about 50,000 samples that are examined by our systems. Whatever gets confirmed as a virus goes into an update that is sent automatically to all Avast users. Avast Virus Database has been updated. Avast Virus Database has been updated. And because we have hundreds of millions of users, we quite don't need hundreds of analysts to keep you protected. Avast, be free. Okay, so ganyan yung guys yung Avast. Ibig sabihin is, ito yung um, na-cloud siya, cloud storage. So lahat ng detection niya with regards sa um, pag-scan po ninyo yung computer po ninyo, na-scan siya and it will be sent to the cloud storage and then yung, yung Avast mismo is magpo-control para, um, ano siya, yung mapigilan yung or ma-clean yung computer po ninyo. And then, kasama dyan yung Panda Cloud Antivirus, meron din siya. And here we can see. So, the antivirus software looks out for any suspicious behavior and files and submit this possible virus sample for testing in the cloud. And then, the central server then extracts the signature of these new viruses and send users an update to the software's virus dictionary automatically. So, maganda kasi ang cloud um, system din kasi pagdating sa mga antivirus. So, not only the uh, cloud storage in terms of virus, pati files po ninyo, pwede kayo mag-store through clouds. And then, hassle of having to manually update the software um, signature detect dictionary and reduce and computer is better protected from new viruses. But, uh, kailangan po dito yung requirements, major requirements with regards sa cloud system or the cloud um um, cloud approach, no? So, kaya na nang malakas na internet. So, hope you now have a better understanding of how antivirus software works. So, yun lang guys. Thank you so much po. God bless po and ingat yung lahat. Salamat po sa pagkikinig and magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Bye!